Hey, it's John. Welcome to the workshop. And you might notice something here. It's a pre-production, pre-release model from Anycubic. It is Anycubic's new wash and cure station that's going to allow you to wash your resin 3D prints and cure them all in one convenient little package. Anycubic reached out to me and said, hey, we've got this new product coming out. We've got a pre-release uh, version of the wash and cure station. Could you take a look at it for us? Uh, here's a list of questions covering things like design, sturdiness, effectiveness, uh, how well the buttons work. Some of those questions that come up and we wish that we would have had a chance as a making community to to get answered before a product comes out. Anycubic is starting to do a really cool thing. They've given out their new FDM machine, their entry level FDM machine for a pre-release version to TH3 3D Studios. I saw that video in the last week or two. Uh, I've seen a video pop up on the Zero, which is the Mate, the resin 3D printer Mate to this new wash and cure station. And these products aren't out on the market yet. So Anycubic is doing their very best to get people to take a look at it, uh, get some honest, real feedback on things. For those of you who have the Photon and its many variants like myself behind us here, it works with the Photon. All right, so it's a wash and cure station. So what it does is it allows you to take your build plate directly from your printer, place it into the machine, and start a wash cycle. The wash cycle is you can use your favorite detergent inside of there. Most people use IPA. I usually use IPA, but Uncle Jesse turned me on to, to Mean Green. So what do you get with the Anycubic Wash and Cure Station? Well, everything that you get is out here right in this section. You get the machine, you get the vat that has uh, the impeller, you get a wash basket to put your prints in there. If you don't want to put your entire build plate into the machine. Now I think it should be pretty easy to use this machine for some of any Cubic's competition out there. So if you have an Elegant Mars, if you have a One Hound D7, if you have an, uh, a longer orange, and some of the other small format cell phone size LCD screen resin printers, this is going to work for you too. For your prints, you get that turntable for the cure function. You get two different adapters from which to hang your build plate into the machine. A little bit longer one that gives you some adjustment up and down. And there's a little bit standard one that goes up at the top here if you're going to fill this up a little bit higher or if you have a print that is taller that you need to wash. Also included, you get a very good, clear, and well-written instruction manual. Anycubic does a fantastic job uh, with their products when it comes to documentation and especially with packaging. This thing went the packaging is excellent just like it was on my photon and it's get up a little bit closer let's get this thing loaded up get a model in there and see how it works on my photon i have a model that's already printed first working with uncured resin get those gloves on up off the machine there because of that magnet in there, you get a positive lock on there, and this actually is very stable once it is on that surface. Well, this is stable, unlike my table that I'm doing this on right now. Amazing. All right, so we're going to take the sealed top off of there, which I very much like, especially if you're going to be using IPA in here, that you can seal this off, and you don't have to have that stink polluting up your workspace. So we'll get that on there. Um, we're going to use this bracket. And there's a channel at the top here, one for the bracket for the build plate. There's a second one down here for the uh, wash basket if you want to go that route. So now we're set. I'm going to take the build plate out of the photon. Now, depending on your model size, you're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting here. As 
so that you get things where you want them to be. Because obviously you don't want your model hanging into that impeller because when you start it up, you're going to be breaking pieces off of there because that thing really scoots. All right, so we got our model in there. We've got it locked into place. We're going to put the top back on here. We'll grab some power. So we have power. We've got our model in the machine. The menus and the controls on here are very easy to use. There are two different cycles. There's a wash cycle and there's a cure cycle. You choose you know, from your button here, you're going to choose your wash cycle. You're going to choose how long you want the cycle to be. Uh, we're going to do a short one here to start out. We're just going to do two minutes. And then when you're ready to go, you're going to hit start and away it's going to go. And like I said, that little impeller down at the bottom really does scoot in there and it moves pretty quick. The unit overall is pretty quiet. But midway through the cycle, it will stop and then it's going to reverse and run the other direction. And what this does, that impeller does, is creates essentially a vortex in the middle of there. And when you don't run a piece in there and just run it with nothing in there where you're not cleaning anything, it looks like a cyclone or a tornado inside of there. And it really moves your, your solvent around um, your model that you're trying to clean. A couple of things about this um, as far as how it's built. Uh, the build quality of this, uh, to me, uh, an initial look and an initial bit of use is very on par with what I've come to expect from my Photon and how my Photon is put together. Uh, the base down here at the bottom is all metal. Um, it is, uh, some of it's steel, some of it is aluminum on there. You have atomized finish on the blue surfaces on the inside, just the same as you do on the build plate on the Photon and on the resin vat as well. Um, sturdiness of it, it feels substantial. It does not feel like a cheap plasticky kind of thing. The gantry that holds up your build plate is steel as well. Uh, the brackets that they give you to attach your build plate are steel. We have a thick acrylic or something similar to that on the outside here where it is of course yellow uh, for UV, stopping UV light. Well, we've got the, the model washed. We're going to put that one off to the side right now. We're going to set this up for use for curing. The turntable that any cubic includes with the unit is just a drop-in thing. You drop it right into place. It stays right there. You grab your model that you're going to be curing, place it on that turntable. Put your top back on there again, change your mode to cure, hit start, and away you go. My flash hider from my DL44 that I'm working on has been in through a cure cycle now. We'll take it out and see how it looks. It looks very clean. There doesn't appear to be pockets of uncured resin that the wash station did not get off. And this was on a very short cycle. This only went through for about uh, three or four minutes total on there before I rinse it off with just regular tap water. All this is is an initial look at this machine. As far as release dates, I do not have any information on that as of yet. I've reached out to AnyCubic to in inquire about a couple of things. One, to see if this product has a, an official name yet other than Wash and Cure Station or Wash and Cure. Secondly, release date. And third, which everybody is going to want to know and be asking about, is how much do I expect to pay for this unit when it comes? It's a very handy tool. I'm liking what it does so far. I'm liking the functionality of it so far. I do have a couple of suggestions for any cubic when it comes to little minute things on there, but that's the whole intention of them sending these units out to people to get to try out and see what's good, what's not so good, and what could be a little bit better. But on the whole, I'm impressed so far. I will love to have this as a part of my workshop 
here going forward. It's going to help my resin printing um, workflow immensely. And I do a lot of resin printing on my little photon back there. The thing is running all of the time. And when I get some answers from Anycubic on pricing, uh, availability, uh, release dates, and all those other things, I will give you an update and we'll do a little bit more of a deep dive in the machine with some more specs and things like that and get a little bit more technical on it and dive a little bit deeper into the functionality and what I think after using it for a period of time. But this is for now is a first look at a pre-release pre machine. So will this be exactly how it comes out? Time will tell on that. As soon as I have that information, I will post an updated video on this have any questions for me, feel free, comment down below. Please do go ahead and give a thumbs up to the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Thanks to all of you who have done so. I appreciate it immensely. Your comments, suggestions, and everything are fantastic. All right, that's it for now. It's John. I'm getting out of here. It's 9142 Props and Armory. I'll see you again in a couple of days or a week or whatever it happens to be.